Welcome back to The Five. Well, the youth vote was crucial to President Obama's victory in 2008. And if he wants a second term, he'll need young people in his corner this time around. So his campaign is launching a new initiative to get the youngest voters on his side, specifically those that weren't old enough to vote the last time around. So I guess you do have to be born yesterday to believe anything <laughs> the man says. And really, these kids were born yesterday. So, Bob, 16 million voters in that category, half a million of them are registered to vote. He needs them, doesn't he? Oh, sure he needs them. And it's a smart thing to do. Look, we, we know that no matter what else happens, Obama's going to win by a fairly good, not two to one like he did last time, he's going to win young voters. And it's the one demographic that continues to be positive for him. The question always is, with young voters, do they vote? And the last time they voted in big numbers, mm -hmm. relatively, and in presidential years, though, they've been notoriously the smallest turnout demographic, where older people are the highest. I think Obama's got the ability, if they use social media right, and by the way, whoever came in and tweeted, tweet, whatever you call that, me and the break, and said, did those commercials work for Mondale? No, they didn't. <laughs> but Eric, disproportionately, Proportionately, unemployment yeah, is much so higher for young so people. They're glad. graduating with a lot of student loan debt, right. and they don't have jobs to pay it off. And this president hasn't done anything for them. Let me now. She asked me, Bob. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm the sorry. The unemployment rate among and, 18, and, and, and. 18 and 19 year olds, you want to go for it, 23 percent. 20 to 24 year right. olds, 14 and a half, almost 15 percent. Here, but here's what he's doing. But for, first of all, I disagree with you. I think the GOP contender, if it's the right one, can take some of the young vote. The other thing is, look what Obama's trying to do. We're going to hear about this excusing student loan debt, renegotiating student loan, let the government take your student loan. He's doing this in, in an election cycle, in an election year or so, because he wants to try and buy the student the young vote. I mean, this is so obvious. On the it's backs blatant, of the taxpayers. It should be illegal. Yeah. Really? Well, yeah. Well, See, that's politics. Isn't that something you know, extraordinary to happen in a presidential year? Now, that's Dana, what Bob used to do with old senior citizens. Eric that's mentioned right. that he used social media, and Bob mentioned, to garner the youth vote this time around, but Republicans are giving him a run for their <laughs> money. They're not. They're not. You well, look at the statistics. You look at the numbers. A lot more in capital. I vote. think social media is. Um, while the Republicans or the conservatives might have been a little bit later to it than they would have liked in 2008, mm -hmm. they've certainly caught up. And it's a good medium for conservatives. I know. Um, some people used to wait every two weeks for their national review to arrive. You know, and you'd wait, and then you'd have it, and you it could is. you could think it. Now you have at your fingertips and on your screen constantly this stream of thought, and I think a very good good discussion that is added to the primary debates about the taxes and calling out people early. And so I don't know if it's going to necessarily help with the youth vote. But more and more people are using social media, and the conservatives have caught up, whether you like it or not. You think they catch up? It's only been going on. We've had it since 2000. And by the way, most conservatives are frozen in the 50s. We know that. And so they're still with black and white I wasn't TV. Even born they're in still the waiting for their national Greg, you have your finger on the pulse of what the young Of a lot of things. Right? Yeah. Uh, first, I want to talk about this. It's called Greater Together. This is the Obama's youth vote plan. Greater Together. It sounds like a Match.com commercial. It was just launched. And, 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 they, and, and young voters and Obama have a lot in common in that they all believe in stupid things. Obama's domestic programs mirror the assumptions of a high school sophomore in the sense that everything you want can be paid, bo paid for by somebody else. I call it a unicorn in every pot. Hey, don't jump on Match.com. <laughs> I'm going to try it out. Yes, but you lie on your profile. Well, that's true. But one of the things that he did, though, is he didn't stay in touch with that digital army that he had when he first came into office. Oh, so yeah. all these young people, people were logging on and following his tweets, and they were all excited. And now you look at the numbers. They're pretty the enthusiasm good. gap. Yeah. The enthusiasm numbers are way down. And I, don't, I think that the only way that they can try to motivate them is by fear. Fear that Republicans will be in charge of, of the Congress as well as the White House. And that what will that mean then for all sorts of things? And yeah. it will be a fear-run campaign, not a hope and change. We, Pat Cadell was uh, talking to uh, the Democratic pollster, uh, one of my dearest friends and also one of the strangest. Uh, <laughs> but nonetheless, he, went, he reminded me that the enthusiasm gap, which is measured very low for Obama, was exactly where Bush was before he got reelected the second term at this point in his presidency. Yeah, but, but the unemployment rate among young people under Bush wasn't 23% mm -hmm. if you're 18 to 19 and 15% if you're most of the people, most of the, But most of the people who are going to vote for Obama are college students or college graduates. Looking for Which is why they shouldn't be allowed right. to vote. Unless you're in the military, you shouldn't oh. vote until you're 40. Hmm. Is that right? Yep. 
Well, Greg. Well, maybe uh, until you after you get off your your parents' health insurance at 26. Well, that's it, until that's you're separated thing. from your Xbox, then you can vote. That is How about if you're separated thing. from but, your but, last but wife? You, no, but Dana makes a good Dana makes a good point. He is doing all these different initiatives from the health care where you can be on your parents' uh, health care till 26, which is costing everybody here money. The f student loans, it's costing all of us money. It's taking what? government loans, I mean private loans, and putting them on the government well, we're going to talk about that. What, what, is, what is your problem, you people, with the fact that the president because is doing what, things for young people? Because what Everything's they, political, right? Because if, what if they default on these loans that they can't declare bankruptcy on? We well, all have to pay for them. Do you have and student there's loans? no wiggle room. Did you have student loans? I don't. Okay, I'm not for waitresses and construction have workers loans? having to pay no. for a student loan. I have student loans still to this day. <laughs> That's because I co signed right. for a few people. Yes. Yeah. All right. One of whom died. They're still students. No, one's dead. All, All right. right. We got to go. You got to go. We got to go. You got to go. You got to get out. Soda may not be the healthiest thing to drink, even though I'm drinking it right now. I feel guilty. But would you believe it if I said drinking it can lead to violence? Well, someone is saying it, and Greg will tell us all about it when the five returns. You got no name, baby. The father down from your door.